Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Munko Chilirutmat from the Chumbu National University in South Korea. Today, I'll present about our uh, recent research progress, which is titled as Real Object Based 360 Degree Integral Floating Display Using Multiple Depth Camera. Here is the contents of my today's presentation. The first, I will introduce about uh, background works and conventional 360 degree integral floating display. And then I will present about the proposed uh, no real object based 360 degree integral floating display and experiment results. And finally, I'll give some conclusion for it. The, as you know, the integral imaging is the most distinguished three dimensional image, uh, three, di three dimensional display system. Uh, which can display the full color, full parallax, and continuous viewing auto stereoscopic three dimensional images from the real three dimensional or depth slice object. But the display image provided with the limited viewing angle, image resolution, and depth range. And the volumetric light field display uh, was the, uh, is the one of the very good method to display three dimensional image in 360 degree. But the uh, displayed image provides an horizontal parallax only and binocular depth cues only. So considering the both benefits and problems of both systems, we decided to combine these techniques and to solve the each problems. Let me explain about this system. This system titled as the tri conventional three-dimensional uh, tri 360 degree integral voting display. Here the elemental images are pro projected by the DMD projector and reconstructed as the three-dimensional perspectives uh, through, the uh, through the lens array. And double floating lenses relay the pers three-dimensional perspectives to the center of the mirror. When the mirror is rotated by the, uh, in a very high speed by the motor, and in the experiment, we successfully demonstrated the full parallax 360 degree viewing angle, three dimensional display, a three dimensional image, but the vertical viewing angle is certainly narrow uh, due to the f function of the double photon lenses. Uh, here's the example of the displayed image, and the vertical viewing angle is very narrow, but the horizontal viewing angle is unlimited 360 degree. So thereafter, we proposed the method to enhance the vertical viewing angle by using the anamorphic optic system, uh, which is the vertically curved convex mirror instead of the simple flat mirror. Here, the convex mirror can expand the light rays more widely in the uh, vertical direction, so vertical viewing angle can be enhanced so much. In the experiment, uh, as you can see, the vertical viewing angle has been increased successively up to 50 degrees approximately. And now I'm showing the examples of the displayed image in horizontal direction and in vertical direction. The vertical direction, I captured this image in both plus and minus approximately 25 degrees. And uh, last time, we also proposed the image quality enhancing method to using the hexagonal lens array and hidden point removal operator because the resolution of the elemental, elemental image arrays has been fixed by the DMD projector resolution. So we need to enhance the uh, image quality without uh, considering the image resolution. So as you know, the hexagonal lens array has a more field factor than the rectangular lens array, and it also can include the more number of the elemental lenses. And of course, the elemental lens uh, creates, elemental lens creates the more number of the point light source, and the point light source, uh, number of point light source is a very key factor for the image quality. Also, the hidden point removal operator is determine, determining only, viewing, uh, only visible points in the each viewpoint in our system. From this uh, comparison, you can see the uh, HPR operator can detect the 
more accurate vision of the point cloud model because point cloud model has been used in our system. Here, here is the this systems the example of the uh, the image quality enhanced enhanced 360 degree display, and here is the case without using the point uh, hidden point removal operator. And now we proposed uh, the novel method to display the real object in the 360 degree integral photon display here. The multiple depth camera acquired the de real depth information of the real object and reconstruct them as the point cloud model uh, inside the computer graphics. And from the reconstructed uh, point cloud model, the elemental images are generated through the given lens array specifications. And the lens array, uh, the generated elemental images are projected by the TMD. The hexagonal lens array uh, reconstruct them as the uh, three-dimensional perspectives. Then the floating lens, the double floating lens, relay them to the center of the rotating mirror. Uh, here, the depth camera, the depth cameras acquire the depth information from the each given viewpoints for them, and uh, and sa save the all pix uh, all points coordinate information, uh, and uh, reconstruct the corresponding uh, corresponding visible points by using the uh, detected coordinate information. For the combining point cloud models, uh, we use the iteration classes points point algorithm, ICP algorithm with the rigid transform. Here the the both data sets are, the centroids of the both data sets are given by these uh, system equations. Then the shifting shifting the centroids into the same origin points of the both data sets and using the detected rotation matrix to, to detect the uh, iterated points of the of the each data set, then translate them, translate uh, the register them in each other. This is the combination uh, process of the point cloud model. And finally, at least the three point cloud data can be combined as the synthetic point cloud model. From the synthetic point cloud model, the HPR operator. <laughs> determines the only visible points for the each angular step of the rotation mir uh, rotating mirror. Uh, for the detected visible points, the first we need to calculate the mirror reflection point, uh, which is the P prime. And here we use the several coordinate information, uh, yeah, coordinate systems. The first one is the main systems uh, coordinate information with X, Y, and Z values. And this, uh, for the P point, the X, Y, Z value have to be uh, converted into the U, V, W values, which, which are the local coordinate point, uh, local, uh, local coordinate system of the rotating mirror. And from the X, Y value to the U, V, W value, we can uh, convert the information by using these equations, the where the phi is the rotation angle of the mirror. Here, uh, after the uh, converting the UVW values, the, we can very find the very easily the reflection point of the P point by using these equations. Then we have to reconvert again from the U, UVW, UVW to the XYZ values by using these equations. And finally, uh, we can calculate uh, this initial two-dimensional uh, two point uh, by, uh, through the double photon lenses by using these equations. From the initial points, uh, we can generate the elemental image arrays through the 
conventional linear imaging pickup system, where the lens array, uh, the sampling rate has been given like that. In the experiment, we used the uh, pole B as a real object and depth cam uh, connect sensor as a depth camera. And here's the DMD projector, collimating lens, double fourteen lens, and rotate mirror. Here, due to some hardware limitations, we used only one depth camera in the experiment and rotated the uh, object at the given angle and acquired the each, depth, uh, each depth information. Uh, here is the specifications of our object and optical device here. The, the, the real object probably, is, probably got this size of dimensions and the point cloud registration uh, here the, uh, from the zero point, 120 point, and 240 points. And here's the number of points in each point cloud model and synthetic point cloud model has included this number of the points. Yeah. Here you can see the depth information from the corresponding viewpoint of a real object. And, uh, and the three kinds of point clouds are combined into one synthetic point cloud model. From this figure, you can see the combined synthetic point cloud models uh, consist of the three initial point cloud models. And here the example view of the synthetic point cloud model in the horizontal direction from the 45 and 225 degrees. And those are the corresponding generated elemental limits through the given laser. In the experiment, uh, we successfully demonstrated the real object-based three-dimensional image in the to a 360 degree horizontal viewing angle and uh, up to 50 degree wide viewing angle. Mm. Yeah, in the conclusion, uh, we proposed a novel 360 degree integral photon display based on the real object. And uh, multiple depth camera has been utilized to acquire the depth information. Uh, and according to the Required depth information, the initial point clouds models are reconstructed in the computer graphics. And the, by using an ICP algorithm with a rigid transform, the point cloud models are combined in the entire synthetic point cloud model. And elemental limits are generated by, uh, for the newly generated synthetic point cloud model. And the uh, Experiment. Experiment. Uh, we successfully demonst demonstrated the three-dimensional three-dimensional uh, image from the real object in the real uh, in the 360-degree viewing angle. And our further research has focused on the more accurate calculation for the point cloud registration algorithm and more improvement of the display image quality. Here is uh, our reference papers here, and, and that's that's the my that's the end of my presentation. Thanks very much.